Over its 40-year history, Peason Yachts has developed a reputation for building extraordinary superyachts that have pushed the boundaries of design, speed, and efficiency. But with Project Cosmos, they went all out. By the time she's ready for delivery in the spring of 2022, she'll be the fastest and largest aluminium yacht in the world. Project Cosmos is uh, a full aluminium, fastest uh, motor yacht in the world, based on a conventional propulsion. So with four engines, two gearboxes, and two controllable pitch propellers. What this project meant for us uh, is that we actually had to, to grow the company and grow the organization because of the size of the, uh, of the 80 meter project. By finalizing the prelim design, the engineering department can start with the outcome of the prelim design. After finalizing some drawings, the production phase took place in Chat 6. The hull was built there together. Joining the hull and superstructure of a superyacht is always an exciting event. But it takes a lot of planning and risk management, even for a standard-sized yacht. But for 80.7 meter Project Cosmos, the engineers at Heeson had to completely rethink the procedure to make it happen. Even though we're used to do operations like this, joining a hull and superstructure and putting the main engines in place, the size of the 80 meter makes this operation very special. The amount of cranes, the weight of the boat and everything that goes with it makes this operation very special. It's the shear size which makes it uh, special. Uh, we're looking at a hoisting operation with four cranes instead of the usual two. The hull and superstructure uh, for this project are above 300 tons. So that's more than twice than a usual yacht. The scale of the joining operation meant Heeson was stepping into unknown territory, and so the stakes were high. Uh, obviously, there were a lot of safety risk involved in the, in the project. We were driving around with 300 tons of aluminium. Uh, it needs to be ballasted on the correct way on, on, the, on the vessel. Uh, we were working with a lot of cranes. They need to hoist uh, simultaneously. And of course, in the environmental conditions like wind and rain can be uh, influenced as well. For one man in particular, it was an exciting but challenging day. Michel de Haas was responsible for coordinating the whole procedure and had started making preparations two years earlier. For Project Cosmos, we were uh, in a very early stage started with the preparations for the transport of the hull, because it's a very large hull, a very wide hull and a very heavy hull. So together with colleagues from Naval Pre-Design, Engineering uh, and Production, of course, we sat down several times to make an entire uh, plan, how we're going to transport her on a safe way to the different locations and to place the superstructure. The joining operation begins in Shed 6, where the aluminium fast displacement hull had been built in around 15 months. After weighing, it's moved onto two remote controlled multi wheelers and then driven onto a waiting barge. To ensure stability during this delicate balancing act, the barge had to be carefully ballasted. Together with the transport company, it took us almost half a day uh, to get the transport cart with, of course, the hull onto the barge because we need to level the, the barge because the weight was placed and moved around uh, several times, of course. So it was quite challenging to yeah, make it happen. The barge is then towed across the water to a quay with more space to carry out the lifting operations. 
four of the biggest telescopic cranes available, then lift the hull from the barge and place her in the water. Step two was the lifting of the hull. Uh, we, we placed the slings uh, when we moved the barge to the second location. There were placed four mobile cranes. We were very anxious to see how the hull will be uh, lifted into the water. This is the only opportunity to place the gearboxes and the four MTU 4000 M73 engines delivering 19,000 horsepower in total, which are lowered carefully into the engine room for later installation. Afterwards, we placed uh, the couplings and the four engines, which is very special because normally we have two. Uh, so now we had four. Then it's time for the actual joining. The superstructure arrives on another barge. And is hoisted into the air by two cranes. Once the barge is moved out of the way, the hull is towed into position. With great precision, the superstructure is then lowered onto the hull. It's a perfect fit thanks to the precision engineering Heeson is renowned for. With the mast in place as well, it's the first time Project Cosmos can show off her elegant profile. When the show is over, Cosmos is towed to shed number two, where she'll remain until her launch in 2021. After being moved into position, the water is pumped out of the dry dock, ready for the next construction phase, outfitting. Today the hull superstructure is joined, uh, the transported to Chat 2, and from today the outfitting phase will take place. Uh, after the outfitting phase, that is a long period, till the end of next year, we do the launch also in the same chat. So it, we had two long days. We started very early. We had a team of five to six people were involved in the entire two days to get all the steps of the transport in the, in the right manner and the right correct way. Everything went really according to the plan and we met all the time schedules as well. It was a job well done. Another milestone in this flagship project is completed thanks to a seamless collaboration between the team at Heeson and all its subcontractors.